everybody should start improving their skating slowly and cut the premium on the quality. Always start slowly and gradually speed up. Just I prefer to start without the puck and at the puck when I feel confident as soon as possible all at 100% speed with the puck. So start from slow to fast without puck and after that in 100% speed. With my players, I start with basic drills as a warm up before each training. First, the inside edge forwards, where I put emphasis on the right body posture, head up, bending knee, and not to push your heart into the skate, but just a smooth slide, the same backwards, the inside edge. After we start the outside edge, where it's important to keep stability and not to fall forwards. During the warm up, we combine several drills from lightest to advanced and, of course, with the puck. Here, for example, the transition from outside to inside, where I ask the player not to jump from the edge to edge, but to make the transition from forwards to backwards smooth. Then, a small change we switch from the inside to outside and again guard the stability on to control the player's movement where he goes. A demonstration of more complex exercise where the player combines the transition from the outside to inside edge and from inside to inside edge. Sometimes it's difficult for the player to combine these two movements, but it's important to strain the head. Again, a slightly different spin where I force the player to have a weight on both skates I consider this drill one of the most complex for stability and body control. Here we have a simple exercise that I use to help players get a feel for the outside edge, which we then use when changing the angle of the skate. When fast, light slide, not breaking hard, we can do it without turnover, only light break, Another step to learn to change the angle of the skate when we turn each skate separately. It's important to start rotating only one skate. It's important that the coach watches that the player use the outside edge and has the skate tip very open. If the player doesn't have an open skate, it will not have the effect of deceiving the opponent. If he use if he uses the inside edge, he will fall down. After mastering the movement with one skate, we can add both skate and alternate different combinations of movement.